we'll see how it goes. Um, so here I am, and we I just want to thank you for joining us. Ephesians 4 is a wonderful, it's right up there. I, I, there's, I love the whole Bible, I love all the scriptures, but there are certain chapters that I think I could read every day without them getting boring. Ephesians 4 is one of those. It is so packed with revelation, information, and direction that uh, you can just never go wrong. It's one of those ver um, one of those chapters where if you're not sure where to read in the Bible and you don't have a plan going at the time, you can also go you can just go to Ephesians 4. Another way you place you can go is Romans 8, another good one. But Ephesians 4 today we're going to we're going to read. All right. So the song I had today is His Name is Wonderful. Hope you can sing along. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He is the mighty King. Master. something. I think I mentioned this yesterday, but songs are a wonderful thing in our relationship with the Lord. They can help us through tough times. They help us praise the Lord in good times. And they help us thank the Lord in all ways. And that's the will of the Lord in Christ Jesus concerning you. And that's to give thanks. Songs are a great way to do that. So thanks for that. And uh, if you're ever tempted to kind of think wrong, just fill your mouth with song and praise to the Lord. Well, Ephesians 4 is a long chapter, so we better get right to it. I'm reading from, I'm reading from the King James Bible, but um, you can follow along in anything, and more than anything, just being the Holy Spirit. He's the author of this, what we're going to read. He's the one that can explain it to us. He's the one that can make it applicable to our lives. And he's the one that can bear the fruit from it, which is what he wants for our lives. So Ephesians 4. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy 
of the vocation wherewith ye are called, <clears throat> with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Forbearing. That's a that's a that's a big big word, and it's one that we need to think about. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cutting craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body, remember we've been talking about each of us being members of the body of Christ, and he's fitting us in our spot, from, the who, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned Christ. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which, is, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, Speak every man truth to his neighbor. We know through the scriptures from the parable that Jesus told who our neighbor is, right? So really that we ought to speak truth to everybody. For we are members one of another. That's why I'm so happy you joined me today. We're members one of another. And I think that's just really amazing. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. <laughs> we put on a song a few 
days ago called Good Morning Sunshine. And it talks about don't don't let anger build. Take yeah, take care of it. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to talk too much here. Neither give place to the devil. 28. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give the him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. I'm just going to say, if, if, if you're reading in the scriptures and you're not sure about what something means, and I'm not talking theologically, I'm talking if you don't know what a word means, I would encourage you to look it up. Um, if you have the internet, you can Google it on, on a Bible dictionary, or, or find out, because it's good to know the different words, and then you're actually taking more time in God's Word, finding out that it's our responsibility to know what He's talking about. And by the Holy Spirit, he can lead us. So, all these things put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another. Tender-hearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. i got to say this. That's a wonderful chapter. You know, it ends with forgiving and I would just want to say to you that if there is anything in your heart that is not forgiving, if there is anything that you're holding against somebody, um, that is really something that you've got to deal with. Jesus said after the prayer that he taught the disciples, he says, if you don't forgive others, your Heavenly Father in Heaven can't forgive you either. And so that's pretty serious business. So if there's anything that you're holding against somebody, I admonish you today to, um, to take care of that. And it doesn't have to be a hard task. Generally, all it takes is to go to the Lord and let Him know that, uh, that, you, that you forgive and that you're not going to hold on to that any longer. And really, when you hold on to things, the only person you're really hurting is yourself and, and those close to you. And so it's, it's really important that we forgive and being kind and tender-hearted and let the Holy Spirit lead us day by day in the things that we, that we need to do. And He can lead you. I was One more thing about forgiving. There are times when you will have to go to that person and uh, sort things out. But generally, if you, if you, if you read the Scriptures in the, in the Proverbs, it is well worth and uh, chances are you'll gain a friend and a brother if you take care of these things. And God is calling us to, to be at one with another, be at peace with one another. And it's so important in the body of Christ especially that we, uh, that we do that. Okay, well thanks so much again. we got a big day coming up ahead of us. It's a, I got a heat warning here in Oklahoma even. Um, for how hot it's going to be today. So hopefully all the air conditioning in our tractors works because we got some hay to cut. And I just hope that you have a blessed day. And I forgot to pray before we read, so I'm going to pray right now. Lord, I just pray that the things that we have read, the things that we have heard, would sink deep into our hearts, that it would bring forth change where change is needed, and we would hold on to the things that we need to hold on to. Father, I pray that our lips would be full of praise for you, that our hearts would be full of forgiveness for others, and that we'd be kind and tender-hearted, looking out for others more than ourselves. So, Father, we just pray that you would guide us and draw us ever closer to you today. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for listening.